আসসালামু আলাইকুম ডিয়ার আই হারনা ম্যাডাম ডিয়ার লিড হাউস মেম্বার্স আই হোপ ইউ অল আর হ্যাভিং আ ওয়ান্ডারফুল ইভিনিং টুনাইট সেশন উইল বি টেকেন বাই রাইহানা ম্যাডাম রাইহানা ম্যাডাম সেশনস আর অলওয়েজ ভেরি ইন্টারেস্টিং এন্ড আই হ্যাভ নো ডাউট দ্যাট টুনাইট সেশন উইল বি ইন্টারেস্টিং এজ ওয়েল সো উইথাউট ফাদার আডু ইউ মে বিগিন দ্য সেশন রাইহানা ম্যাডাম Okay, thank you. Welcome everyone. Nice to see all of you again. Okay, let's do a little bit of recap of what we've done in the past uh, uh, three sessions. Today is the last session, so we're going to do a little bit of recap. Now, what can you remember from the previous sessions? First session. First session was what? Love tank. I remember love the tank. word. Tapping. Okay, very good. Love tank. Who's been using the love tank? Okay, Aisha. right or uh, who else okay what else somebody else can tell me what love wheel love wheel love wheel, love wheel. okay love wheel yes very good mm -hmm. so who fills up the love tank who will fill up the love tank who needs to fill up the love tank yourself right you got to fill up your own love tank you cannot depend on others to fill up so you all know what is your love language and i think i put a little note the other day inside uh, of all the things that you can do for yourself depending on what love language is yours so you can try that let's say you are into physical uh, things then maybe you want to or you are into feelings then you maybe give yourself a massage or go for a spa or you know go and cut your hair that will make you give you a change of state when you change your state you actually change your um, attitude or your behavior or your emotions at that time right so some of the things that we have learned also about uh, changing your state what are some of the things that you can do to change your mood or change your feeling position thought okay stop there give other other person okay position i do i yes. do gardening uh, Uh, looking to my uh, plants looking okay. at my plants okay uh, what else what else can you do posture do change the posture change? change your posture okay very good what else change your what else so we got posture what did aisha say just now posture. position and thought position and thought what else thought. is there what is coming out of your mouth words right words, you can change words. your words right and change your posture your position your words your thoughts and your what else what is the last one thoughts <laughs> okay one thought your thoughts okay one more is there posture word position posture position Okay, I'm going to leave that with you. You have to tell me at the end of the session. Okay, what else is there? Uh, pose. You're posing, right? How are you going to pose? Has anybody tried the power poses? So much. Yes. 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 I yes. I tried today. I gave a wonderful power pose today. Ah, show me. How I like this? Pose? I sat. I like this. I sat. It was that. Like this. I sat. Like this. Like this. Okay. There was a meeting. I never used to sit like this but I felt to see like this like this <laughs> by taking the hand uh, of the chair I put my I rested my hand over there and sat sat like this I mean it was a leader like look ah okay okay good good instead of uh, you uh, closing myself in a very low stance yes I I kept my chest high and put it like this yes so one of the things you can do to raise your energy is actually expand yourself expand your body If you notice in yes. the in the jungle, like you know the male gorillas and all that, the one the one that leads the their body is like this. This they are not like this. Yes. When you are crunched up, imagine you are in class and you don't know the answer. How do you behave? You don't behave. You like want to become small and and then you want to hide from the teacher and teacher will pick you because you are hiding from her. 
but when you when you are when you are confident and you know your answers and you know uh, what a teacher is talking about you sit like this you sit upright you sit more alert your eyes are more focused you know you don't hide away so that's one of the things that you can do whenever you feel tired or you feel lazy you expand yourself and then you actually raise your vibration by doing that you actually raise your energy and you feel more power and you feel more uh, energized and you feel that more confident somehow it doesn't mean that you actually have it but it you feel that way and that is how you raise your energy in anything that you do okay today's session we are going to do a little bit about self management i think we did something today or some activity how was the activity today that we did delete declutter declutter yes what was about it okay what did you declutter my dressing table was that sana think that we do not use daily or it is unused from many times i have to discard it discard it okay a lot of times we have a lot of clothes in our cupboard tons and tons and tons of clothes and we don't want to throw away because they all look so nice and we take care of them so nicely especially for me i always wait 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 until my clothes will spoil then i can buy new ones you see but, but they never seem to spoil because i take care of them so well you know and then i'm waiting and i'm waiting and i'm waiting even other things like furniture or anything that i have in my house because i have, i have grew up in an environment where we didn't have much things when we were growing up so we had to appreciate whatever we had and we made everything last and that is a very very good habit and uh, we not but we tend to accumulate a lot of things and that is one of the bad bad sides of taking care of a lot of things well and we tend to buy more things as well so some as as i age i realize that i do not want so many things in fact the moment i uh, i'm being about one year back or six months back i will actually every six months i will go to my cupboard and i will throw away things or give away things that are in good condition to other people okay and when i do that i feel lighter i don't know about you but you feel lighter right and you come to a stage where you realize you don't need so many things you are just happy with what you have right now and you are happy with that even that small or little things that you have but you are grateful for them and that makes it happier for you right so the declutter is a very very good exercise in self management we need to know what we need in our life and what we don't need in our life and one of the things that we don't need in our life also talks about not just about things about the people in our life right the people in our life also can be toxic also can be something that bring you down also can be something that you know are you are holding on to and that is something you have to declutter as well decluttering relationship doesn't mean that you break off the relationship or doesn't mean that you destroy the relationship but no that is that person benefiting you or you are benefiting that person or you are finding some value or that person is always negative always bringing you down so try to spend less time with that person sometimes it can be even like our husbands or our children or our sisters or our brothers it can be some but it's very close to us so try to find activities where that person doesn't have much chance to bring that negativity to you and another way you can do you can't avoid this person because they are living in the same house as you you cannot destroy them you cannot avoid them you cannot cut them off and you cannot you know break ties with them another thing you can do is you can choose to spend time with make time to spend with people who are positive in your life or make time to spend with people who add value to your life or who give you know uh, give you more meaning or help you find your purpose like a mentor or a guide like now you guys are here today for this session or you've been here for the past 20 over days and now you know only and one more week is left so what are you going to do after all this session 30 days is over what are you going to do you see so you have to think about where you are going to channel that energy or that time to do something valuable and to declutter your life and to find some value in what you have okay so this is something that we can do for people for places and for things in our life okay another thing that you have that we can do self management with is to become aware aware of all the things that are around us and aware of the small little things that we take for granted 
right? Okay, so I think the other day we also did one exercise on what was the exercise we did? Um, we have to stand in front of the mirror, we have yes. to look into our eyes, and yes. we have to say all positive affirmations and using the third person, like Aisha is dynamic leader. Right. Aisha is going to become vice principal of International Indian School Aljubel very soon. By right. the blessings of Rehana, ma'am. <laughs> Right. Inshallah. So these are something you can do very good. And this is how you manage. Three minutes. 30 into 3 into 30. 33 into 30. Yeah. Who's been doing the 33 into 30? Oh, only Dr. Aisha is doing that. 30 minutes, 30 seconds, three times a day. And for 30 days, you have to smile at yourself in the mirror and look at yourself and smile. Right. That is something very positive that you can Me do. Me too, ma'am. You are doing that also very good, very good. That's very, very good. You see, so we have a lot of tools at our hand that we can use to manage our emotions. So one of the, the one of the five things that we have to do, one of the things that I always say, we have to arm ourselves with help. Arm arm yourself with help means this. Let me share with you one thing. Let me share with you. Okay. Give me one second. Give me one minute. Okay, Okay, I can't seem to open it. No problem. Okay, so arm yourself. A-R-M-E-D. First thing is arm. A is attitude. So you have a positive mental attitude. R is to have enough rest. We need enough rest in our life, in our daily, because sleep helps us recover and restore our energy, restore our mind, and gives us ideas. At night, sometimes when we have a problem, if we go to sleep with that, we can actually find a solution by morning. So rest is very important. Next comes M. M means you must incorporate movement into your life. Okay, movement can be any kind like exercise, walking, grounding. You know, I think earlier in our sessions, we did uh, exercise walking on the beach or walking in nature. That is also very important. So movement is very important. It doesn't have to be really going to the gym or something. any kind of movement is important, right? M. Next comes E, managing our emotions. That is very important as well. Because once we know how to manage our emotions, we are able to be in a control of our thoughts and our feelings. Because our thoughts and our feelings will change once our emotion changes as well. So we need to know how to manage that as well. And the last one is diet. Diet means your food, your, your air, the kind of water you drink whether you're going to take sugary drinks, whether you're going to take 10 cups of coffee or, you know, or you're going to take healthy drinks, you're going to drink more water, make sure you have, you know, healthy foods. Uh, yes, it's okay to eat some junk food once in a while, it's fine. We always follow the 80-20 rule. What is the 80-20 rule? 80% 80 of the time we are eating healthy and 20% of the time we can eat junk food. Okay, so it's okay to do that. And... That is very important. So what did I teach you? The five things? A-R-M-E-D. What is A? Attitude. 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 Very good. What is a R? Rest. Rest. Okay. Somebody else has to answer. What is M? Movement. 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 Yes, Fatima. Movement. Movement. Okay. Next person. What is E? 
Emotions. Managing emotions. Managing emotions. emotions. What is the last one? D, D for diet. Diet. Yes. Diet. What you put in your mind, what you put in your heart, and what you put in your body. Okay, diet is not just about what you eat. It is also what you put in your head. Remember I showed you the burglar, the one that comes and robs you of your household things? Yes. So you also have to manage the people or the things that rob you of your peace of mind and that rob you of your, uh, you know, your, your uh, emotions and make you angry. So you have to be very alert about these people. And you know these people are going to make you angry. Walk away. Back away. Don't engage with them. So this is one of the things we can manage in our life, to be able to self-manage. Five things. We've got to arm ourselves in this five ways to be able to self-manage whatever we need to do. Okay, so we're going to do a little exercise. I want to I want to uh, do with you one exercise. And I hope you got your notebook with you, right? So I want you to do a little exercise. I want you to write down one of the things that we need to manage is distractions. Okay, because distractions are very, very easy and very common to come and rob us of all the time that we have, right? So I want to write and make a list of five or six distractions that happen to you on a daily basis. Okay, 10 seconds to write that. Well, five or six distractions. Yes, distractions. Maybe your children or, you know, your uh, lunch or, you know, you, you get you feel hungry to eat and then that distracts you or you feel you know lazy or you feel tired or you watch netflix whatever it is that distracts you or social media you always want to check your facebook who has given you more likes or who has given you dislikes then if that person dislike you then you will be thinking the whole day why that person <laughs> dislike you okay mother in law somebody says mother in law <laughs> yes mother in law is a good distraction <laughs> okay what are the things that distract you we're going to make a list of five or six things that are going to distract you ma'am done yes what is that done okay done okay done done okay okay two more seconds everybody is done okay we can share who wants to share first? What are some of the things that you did that distract you? Who wants to start first? Uh, negative people. Okay, negative people distract you. What else? Someone's calls and uh, uh, random thoughts. Was that somebody's calls calling? Somebody's calls and random thoughts. Random thoughts. Okay, random thoughts distract you. Okay, very good. What else? Who else wants to share about what are the things that distract you? Ma'am, I have uh, written okay. messages. Messages, what? messages on mobile, LinkedIn. I would like to check LinkedIn. Okay. On, uh, who has this? Who have responded to my invitations and all? I check that. Then yeah. status. I check my status. How many of the, how many of the people are seeing my status? That I have a habit of checking. And, and then connection. I mean, uh, then we have coffee. I feel like having coffee in the school after two periods or three periods. And my colleague come and sit and ask, they, they pose a problem, then I have to give them a solution. But I really feel distracted because they keep telling me long stories. And then I have to listen, even if I don't want, and then I have to give them a solution. So I feel really distraction, but I cannot avoid the distraction. Okay, so distraction for Dr. Aisha is uh, uh, LinkedIn and uh, their colleagues that distract and coffee, always wanting to have coffee. Those are some of the distractions. Okay, very good. Anybody else wants to share? Somebody else has got different ones, some different ones? Yes, ma'am. Yes, tell me. Uh, YouTube. Mobile. YouTube. Okay. Uh, movies, watching movies and short clips, uh, those kinds of things. Okay. Then uh, procrastination, uh, feeling laziness, and uh, sometimes like, uh, usually whenever I go out, I, I, I feel fatigued. Okay. Okay, very good. Anybody else has any anything different? Anybody else has any other different uh, different ones? Okay. Now what we are going to do is for every that, distraction that some, you uh, yeah. someone else. Sorry, that. Who is that? Khadija, did you have something yeah. to say? Yes, yes. Uh, backbiting. 
Backbiting, okay? Backbiting by who? Uh, your family or work? Or is it at work or is it at home? Or relatives? Uh, no, home as well as uh, adjustable. What's that? Sorry, less adjustable? Yeah, uh, when, if someone is uh, telling about me, so uh, uh, I'll just stay there and uh, listen what Okay, backbiting about you. Okay, understand. Okay, got yeah, it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, understand that. Okay, so now I want you to make uh, the list that you have made, four or five things. I want you to write another column, same down the line, make a space and write how often you get distracted with this thing. So is it every half an hour, every one hour, every 10 seconds, you need to check your LinkedIn or only lunchtime your uh, colleagues will come and disturb you. How how uh, how much, when does it happen? So you need to list that down. Okay, I'm going to give you a, a, another 10 seconds to uh, list that. Thank you. Okay, you have written down when are the times that you are getting distracted? Or how long does it distract you? Maybe it distracts you for some time? Yes, ma'am. I have written over the massive, uh, chat box. Oh, okay. After sleeping, I feel relaxed. <laughs> okay. I get, if I'm at home, I get distracted every minute. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ma'am, uh, random thoughts every half an hour. Every half an hour. Okay. So let's let's be practical today. We want to find out how we can manage those thoughts. So part of self-management is not about learning about the theory, about what we can do. I want you to practically, I want you to do, and I want you to find out what can you do to stop this. Okay, so now another 10 seconds for you to come up with some ideas. Or if you want, we can share. Okay. Yes. Who wants to start first? Who who cannot think? Who can think of what they can do? Let's say for Dr. Aisha, she has friends who are distracting her, or colleagues who come and tell long story. What can you do, Dr. Aisha? What can you do? Yeah, uh, I try to avoid by leaving my place. Okay, the, I try to avoid have... by leaving my place, and and sometimes not all the time because. They will ask in the staff from where she has gone. And they will say that she is in the masjid. So they will follow me in the masjid. Ah, okay, okay. So sometimes <laughs> it's not easy. Okay, what what, yeah. what solution can we help Dr. Aisha with? What solution can do you think we can do? Ma'am, uh, switching off the phone or uh, keeping an aeroplane mode. Okay, but she has no, colleagues. It's not on the mobile, face to face. Face to face friends. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Tell them frankly that you are not in mood to talk. Putting DND word. <laughs> do not disturb. <laughs> okay, putting a sign DND do not disturb. <laughs> or we can say we have another stuff to do or uh, deal with that. We have another work to do that on time. We mm -hmm. can leave there by there. Or can we do something like for maybe you can say, okay, I have 10 minutes only. And then tell, whatever problem you have, just tell me in 10 minutes. After that, I have to do something. So I think we can control the amount of time we spend rather than let them drag on and on. And while they are talking, then, you know, uh, we can also actually tell them, okay, so, so this is how you feel and this is how you 
think about the situation, reiterate back to them and then get them to affirm or to agree or to disagree. No, no, this is not what happened. Actually, my mother-in-law was this, 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 this. Then he said, okay, so what I under try to tell them and then tell them, okay, hmm, what do you think you can, actually you can ask them, but what do you think you want to do about this? Sometimes they are not, they just want to vent out and they just want to tell you their story, but they're not really looking for a solution. So sometimes you have to ask them and say, what solution do you want from this? How can you do that? So question them back. And then when you do it often enough, then they will know that actually they, do, they don't want any solution. Sometimes they like their problems. People like their problems, you know. Yeah. There, are, there are people who like their sickness also because it gives them some purpose. When they are sick, the children will be, oh, mama, how are you? They will come and visit you. Sometimes, you know, the old people, they like to have sickness. They don't want to get rid of their sickness because only when they are sick, the children will come and see them. Only when they are sick, the children will ask about them. There are people like that, okay? So sometimes you have to see the situation. Yes, Fatima, you have something you wanted to add? Ma'am, uh, like uh, for me, it's like uh, every time I get distracted by my phone and, you know, uh, every time I have in my mind, let me complete the, the work very quickly so that I can watch movies. So I'm not able to get out from it. Uh, frequent this uh, two to three weeks I didn't watch movie alhamdulillah but every time I used to have that pressure no I haven't watched movie I haven't like I'm really sick of this mind what to do so so now she has two problems one is she wants to watch movie second is is it when you watch movie you cannot stop is, is that the problem <laughs> or you just like to watch movie sometimes Mama, like every day or every two to three days, I need to watch movie or at least in a week, I have to watch. I okay. want to get rid of it. Okay, you want to get rid of it, but why you want? Does it interfere with something or does it uh, um, help Mama, I'm you? not able to do productive work. Like uh, I have a lot of things to do. Like, you know, I have to go for walk, uh, exercise and cardio and then uh, gardening uh, to teach also. I'm not able to teach two batches. Uh, like I'm delaying. So, so many things are there. <laughs> okay. So one of the things, what, what do you think we can help Patma? How can we help Patma to find a, a solution for this? What do you think? Anybody have any ideas? Any ideas? Yes, yes. Patma should actually learn to manage her own desires. How you can manage Patma? What I used to do, I used to have my daily goals. Okay, this Goal, I have to do this. I mean, daily basis, my daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals. And then once you finish that goal, then gratify yourself. Uh, you know, you just praise yourself and entertain yourself by whatever you like. But first, you have to have a list of priority. What is very important and urgent. What is very important but not urgent. Important and urgent. Like that, you should have a list and that you should have a control because you are doing an MBA. MBA student means you are a master. Then you should definitely develop that kind of self-management. You should have a self-control by having a proper list, to-do list, day-to-day to-do list, weekly list, and monthly list. That is what my suggestion. That's okay, what I do. Okay, but I have a question for Fatima. Do you like lists? Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, but... <laughs> so it will not work for Fatima. Okay. So for a person who loves lists, this I, Dr. Aisha's suggestion is very good. They will make a list of things and then they will follow that list because they need to follow a list. But for Fatima, for people like me, for me, I don't do lists. I don't have a to-do list at all. But I still get managed to do my things because I... Again, but again, what Dr. Aisha says is very good. Prioritize. Yes, yes. Okay. And rewarding yourself. That is very important because you see our brains are designed to move away from pain and to go towards pleasure. This is how we are built as yes. humans. We always want to move away from the thing that causes us pain. Pain can be, doesn't mean physical pain. Pain can be like, you know, oh, hard work or pain can be like, oh, so much work to do. That can be a pain or avoid somebody that can be a pain so we want to avoid that and we want to move toward things that makes us very very happy so one of the things that i've taught you in the last few weeks is doing your tapping 
okay you can actually do tapping for the thing let's say you want to stop your uh stop your movie okay yes. or you feel distracted at that moment and then you tap and then you said oh i love to watch movie i want to watch movie i cannot stop watching movie i really enjoy it. and if i don't watch movie i feel so sad and upset and depressed and i you know i cannot stop watching movie and i love it and i have to watch it and you know you tell all the things then second round you say you know i love to watch movie that's not a bad thing but i can i can manage my movie watching i can watch on the weekend two three movies and i while in the weekday maybe i can do you can tell yourself this so yes. tapping is one of the ways very simple way to do you can try it it may work for you because it it did work for me you can just tell yourself distract your mind with the tapping you can actually get your mind to focus and then you can say i want to focus on this work another thing you can do uh, which i've uh, which we also also which i've also mentioned is that we like to move away from pain and want to move towards pleasure whenever we see that activity as pain that we're doing work instead of watching movie watching movie is pleasure but doing work is painful so we have to change our relationship with with the thing that is causing us pain so let's say we have to stay overtime and we want to do and he say oh i hate staying back after work i have so many books to mark i have so many students essay to correct i have so i hate it i hate it i hate it when you say that you are sending a signal to your brain that you hate this activity and your body will react by telling you look now let me give you some headache or let me give you some stomach ache so you don't have to do this work <laughs> somehow you have some kind of pain physical activity and you say no i i don't want to do i'm suddenly having a very bad stomach ache out of the blue out of the sudden i i ate everything fine today but suddenly i'm having stomach ache because why you told your mind you don't want to do that activity yes so you have to change that relationship with that activity that you don't like to do yes ma'am and that when you change that relationship and you make a pledge say oh i love to do marking for my kids i love to stay back and do overtime i love it so much i love writing essays i love doing my thesis i love it so much you know you just keep saying it is like an affirmation for the thing that you don't like to do but the more you say it you will reduce that intensity of that hate for that thing am i making sense to all of yes, you yes ma'am yes ma'am totally totally right so yeah. when you change your relationship with a thing that does not feel good for you when you change that relationship by your words by your actions by your thoughts when you change that you somehow make that activity not that stressful anymore remember i was talking to you about the fight or flight and you know we always want to we everything that is not good for us or we feel is not good we think is very stressful you know we think of it as a tiger or a snake or a tiger in the jungle so like you know when we have so much work that's a tiger that's a stressful situation change your relationship with that thing that is causing you the stress and when you do that you actually change the way you look at things like i i have so much work to do i have so and i say i don't i don't follow lists because i always never stick to my list and that makes me feel even bad that i didn't follow my list and i didn't strike off any of the things that i was supposed to do so i don't follow list anymore but i change the way i think about that situation let's say i have to do uh, some marking for my students let's say and then i don't like it and i say no i love marking my children's work i love doing it and the more you do it and when you like doing something what happens you get to finish it fast yes yes ma'am right yes, when you do something an activity that you like it it feels very fast time has just gone by but when you do something that you don't like time just drags and drags and drags yes. you know you are waiting for 4 o'clock 5 o'clock to finish your work 6 o'clock even that one second or one minute to that 6 o'clock is so slow why is that one or one minute going to go <laughs> but when you are enjoying your activity it just time just flies right yes. so yes. change your relationship with that thing even same with people when you have a some relationship with people that you don't like let's say you don't like your boss or you don't like your colleague or you don't like your you know uh, somebody sitting next to you always disturbing then do some tapping change your relationship with that so you know it's okay you know i can manage this i can do this i like this 
it's okay they are here for a reason but then there is also toxic people so you must know how to when to set your boundaries remember about the love wheel set your boundaries as well so these are some of the things you can do who else is something else who else yeah, one more if if uh, chance given one can more me. chance Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Asha, ma'am, as well. Um, one more thing is like uh, I procrastinate a lot. Like for example, uh, today we had a teacher from US consulate. She uh, had a farewell. So I'm good at calligraphy. So I told that I'll I'll do it the card. But since yesterday, I have been you know prolonging. Ah, uh, let me do later, later, later. Like that, I kept on doing. I also I had classes in uh, online and offline. And uh, today we were supposed to reach by two forty five pm at max three. I started the work. You won't believe, ma'am. At I started at two pm. Like you know the rough work and then, uh, the fair uh, painting and all. So I anyhow I uh, like very rush. I went. I uh, with high speed. I went, but I reached. Uh, but uh, the stress, you know, at the last minute pressure. I'm very much used to it. Uh, do you like the pressure? Do you like that pressure? I I don't like it, but uh, I do do it quickly. But I want to get rid of that habit as well. Like, okay, good procrastination. You can do tapping. Very, 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 very good. You can do it. I I love to procrastinate. I'm always procrastinating. I cannot get my work done. I rush through my work, and after that, I you know I feel so stressed. Then I have to do. Talk, talk to yourself and then after that you say you know what i will i know how to manage my time i know how to manage my priority i know how to do my work and i can manage my time i can i don't procrastinate i love doing the work i love and i enjoy whatever i am doing and it doesn't feel difficult it doesn't feel you know it doesn't feel hard so talk to yourself. EFT tapping is can be, I told you before, you can use it for tapping, you can use for procrastination, you can use for anything. If you need to talk to me about that, I have a, actually a sequence I can give you later, maybe in the in the group, I can post it. What you can say for procrastination, you okay. can do that. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah, that will help. Anybody else got anything else that they want to uh, need help with? We can we can see uh, what... Uh, are you know, ma'am? Yes. Anna, Anna. Uh, yeah uh if after those exercises if uh, someone feels that that uh, heaviness in or pain in heart what can we do after the after the after the exercises after yeah. the tapping exercise yeah yeah okay that is a very very good question okay sometimes when you do the tapping instead of reducing it becomes more yeah Okay, then you have to focus that you have to, then you have, it's a good good sign to tell you that this is actually a problem. So do you have an example? What it, what was it that you were tapping on and, and it became worse? Yeah, because uh, something happened in my life before 10 years that was disturbing me very much. Right. So when yeah, you did the yeah. tapping, it actually brought you back that time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is good. You know why it's good? Because it is telling you the problem that you are facing now, it is not, that is not the real problem. The problem, yeah. you see your mind, your body is communicating with you, right? Your body, when you tap, sometimes your mind will bring you somewhere else. And yeah. why it brings you somewhere else? Because it is trying to tell you that the problem, let's say you're, you are tapping because your boss is shouting at you or your husband is shouting at you. My, my husband is shouting at me. I don't like it. You know, he's always shouting at me, always telling me what to do. And I can't do what I want to do. And I feel so stressful. And you're tapping and then suddenly your mind will go to somewhere else. So what mm -hmm. you do, you tap on that new thing. So just tap on that new thing that you're thinking. And then it may bring you to somewhere else. So just keep tapping because your body is actually trying to figure out where this problem came from. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, okay. so it's okay if you, if you feel heavier, you feel worse. So tap on that new feeling. Tap on yeah. the new thought that has come in your head. Tap on that. It's okay to move away from the original problem that you were tapping because your body is communicating and trying to tell you, where exactly is the problem? And when you find and go to the depth of that problem, you will find that that exactly is the problem. And when you tap on that, somehow you'll find the solution that what exactly is the problem. Okay? Yeah. 
says i i don't know if it if it it, it uh you can understand what i'm saying because, yeah. yeah yeah yes because what happens in our body is that we tend to forget all the bad things that happen to us we yeah, want yeah. to forget and mm. we want to not remember the childhood incidents or the bad things or the trauma or the pain that happened to us in our childhood so we will try to forget but the problem is our body our cells does not forget yeah yeah so it is still there in our subconscious mind mm -hmm. it is there in the back of our head even mm -hmm. though we have forget that memory but the cell in your body does not forget your memory okay and it will remember that problem that happened so you have to learn how to go back to that emotion and you have to learn to tap on it and i also have a workshop on this uh, where we go back to the past and we try to identify the exact problem that happened when it happened and we can learn to let go there is a there is a, a workshop that i do it's called awakening your power and i want to participate it <laughs> okay so that <laughs> that will, that will, that's a really really good workshop if you have time it's a little bit long maybe three three to four hours but it's a very very powerful workshop yeah. after that you will change the way you you look at that incident and it won't bother you okay yeah. So you have to learn how to it, tapping is one way to identify what is the problem. Mm -hmm. Anybody else has a, a, another problem? Yeah. I think we still have time. Yes. Um, actually, I would like to add uh, some of the exercises that we used to do in our childhood uh, uh, that our mother has to uh, used to tell me that tell yourself to awake you at 6 a.m. in the morning. And we used to tell ourselves that uh, Sana, please awake me in the morning at 6 a.m. But nowadays, actually, we forget to practice all these habits that we used to do in our childhood. So, actually, uh, I would like to add one of the uh, experience, ma'am. Very good, right? Yes, it's true. You can actually, do you know that you don't need an alarm to wake up? We don't, we actually don't need an alarm. You just, when you're sleeping, you tell your pillow, please, I need to wake up at 5 a.m. You actually tell yourself, I need to wake up at 5 a.m. And you will wake up at 5 a.m. Okay, you try it. You try this activity. It's very, very interesting. Send the message to our subconscious mind. Yes, send the message yes. to the subconscious mind what you want. And subconscious is very, subconscious, do you know, is 30,000 times more powerful than your conscious mind. 30,000 times. Okay, let's do a very... That's why our instincts are very powerful, ma'am. Yes. Let, let's do a very interesting uh, last experiment. Let's do one experiment. Okay. Now, I want you to imagine that you are holding a lemon. Okay? And you're holding the lemon in your hand. So, take out your hand and hold the lemon. The lemon is the big lemon, not the small one. The yellow color lemon. You know the big one? Right? Okay. Now, this lemon, you have cut into half. Okay, so you're holding half, half the lemon. Okay, so you're holding it and you can feel the lemon in your hand. Okay, I want you to take out your hand and hold it. Now, I want you to close your eyes. Now, bring your hand closer to your nose with the lemon. And I want you to smell it. And you can smell the freshness of that lemon, the sourness. You can smell it. Oh my God, this is so refreshing. Oh, take another smell of that lemon. Oh my God, it's so amazing. So refreshing. Oh my. Now you're going to open your mouth and you're going to take a bite. Now open your mouth and bite into that lemon and take out some of the juice. Oh my God, it is so sour. Oh no, 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 it's sour. But drink that juice, put it in your mouth. Move the juice into your mouth. Oh my, oh my, oh my, it's so sour, it's so sour. And now you're going to swallow that juice and swallow it and it's going down your throat. Oh, oh, oh. and down into your stomach. And I want you to oh, recover from that. And I want you to put down the lemon from your hand. And I want you to open your eyes. Okay, let me ask you a question. 
How many of you actually felt the lemon in your hand? Okay. Now, how many of you actually could smell the lemon when I asked you to smell? I, I could smell. Yes, ma'am, I could smell. Twice, twice, twice. Yes, you could smell the lemon smell, right? Now, how many of you actually could taste that lemon? Right? I, 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 I could not taste the lemon. I could not swallow. I could not take the lemon. But felt, smell, I felt. I, two times. I, smell, I felt. Okay. All right. Very good. So now let me ask you, was there a lemon? No. Was there a real lemon in your hand? No. No, ma'am. But some of you could smell it, some of you could taste it, some of you could feel it. And you could, some of you even could see, right? The yellow color you could see in your hand. You can imagine that the lemon is there. Now, how is that possible? Right? How is that possible? Because of what? In your mind, it was real. In your mind, when I asked you and asked you to smell, you could smell it. When I asked you to taste it, you could taste it. When I asked you to see the lemon, you could see the yellow color. When I said, look at the yellow lemon, you know, in your hand. So you see, your mind is so powerful. It can bring to life something that is not even existing. But you can imagine that it is. So imagine how powerful your mind is, right? And your subconscious mind is 30,000 times more powerful than that. And that if you know how to access that, or if you believe in that, that your mind is subconscious, you can actually train yourself for anything. You can attract money, wealth, love, uh, success. You can attract anything. And there's one workshop I do on that also, Power of Abundance. How you can attract the all the things in your life. So mm -hmm. you see, we can do anything with our mind. Mm -hmm. The problem is we don't know how to access it. And sometimes you need someone to help you, to guide you, to access that area of your brain that you have lost touch with, your subconscious. Right. So that I'm going to leave you with that today. And, you know, you can manage things in your life. There is many tools for you. Like, let's say you have time management tools. You can do the metric for those who cannot. You can find a different way. There is always a solution. You don't have to follow what other people are doing. Management doesn't mean that I have to do what Aisha is doing or I have to do what Sana is doing. And if I'm not doing how Sana is doing, then I'm wrong. No. Self-management, one of the important things to know, self-management is knowing yourself first, knowing what you like, knowing how you want it done and use that to help you to do better or to improve yourself or to get rid of some bad habits to do that. All right, you can do that. Management, it doesn't mean that you have to follow everyone. You have to create your own way to manage. All right. Some tools are available. Some you can use, some you like to use, some you don't like to use. It's okay. Right. Find the one that works for you and use that. And that is one of the key tools of self-management, knowing what you like, what you need and who you can ask for help. Management. Right. So management doesn't always mean that doing what others dictate for you. You know what you want and you do what is good for you, right? So that is my final thought for management. Anybody else has any questions? Khadija, do you want to ask Engineer me? Engineer Khadija raised her hand. Yes, Khadija, yeah. tell me. She raised her hand because of the lemon or was there something she wanted to ask? Yes, she wants to ask. I raised my hand for the le that lemon one. Lemon but, um, one. Yeah. yeah. As you said, your class was all very, mashallah, very attractive one and very relaxed. We feel so relaxed after doing your class, Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Right, Patma, very yeah. practical also, ma'am. Very practical. Yeah, very practical, yeah. Yes, Fatima. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, exactly. I totally agree with uh, Khadija, sister Naisha, ma'am. Like today, I was about to skip the session. Like uh, tomorrow, I have exams. I haven't studied two exams uh, in a day. So I thought of skipping. But the moment I saw, oh, Rihanna ma'am is there. I don't, no, no, leave it. 
let me see like how can i you know deal with that so i attended the session alhamdulillah alhamdulillah i hope it helped you today yes ma'am a lot and one question like i was not able to you know uh, feel it in uh, uh, the lemon or smell it just i was imagining just uh, after before attend my session i had a lemon juice so i was trying to imagine that so only i could just see the color nothing else okay it's okay but you see what i'm trying to tell you that even if it's not in your hand you can i actually imagine it and how is that possible because your subconscious mind is able to go back to that memory or go back and able to re- re- retrieve that and be able to you know that how powerful it is that's what i'm trying to show you right okay. anybody else has any questions or any last question like uh, how to deal with that uh, mother in law one like sister khadija said no so how to you know, what is the solution for that okay you can do tapping also you can you can you know tap on your own and you can say how much you hate her it's okay and then after that you can tap on uh, you know uh, how how you can look at her in a different way why she does something maybe she irritates you because her children ignore her you must you can also analyze what exactly she is going through and you can actually teach her the tapping also and tell her she can manage herself something I think she's jealous. <laughs> jealous, okay. Oh, uh-huh. of uh, of daughter-in-law, I guess. Okay. Oh, okay. Of of you, you mean? She's jealous of you. I yes, think I think so. she doesn't like to talk anyone else other than her husband and her uh, uh, son and her daughter. No one has to uh, talk with her. And so she doesn't like uh, anyone comes and talk with her. Okay. Like my grandmother-in-law, uh, she is very old, very old. She used to tell every time, "I'm like, uh, I'm living like a in a jail, uh, just like a." Since I got the meal, and no one is here to ask me, "How are you? Uh, is it everything okay or not?" No one is here. If I ask, if I go there and I talk with her. so she become jealous and she told uh, you are staying in my house why you are talking with that girl we are not talking with her uh, never we wanted to talk with her we don't eat her food we don't uh, do any kind of thing so why you are doing all this thing otherwise if you do this thing i'll not give you food just uh, like uh, she uh, what uh, shouting at her okay okay so this one we need to talk to <laughs> okay maybe you want to take this with me separately and then talk to me about this uh, i can maybe tomorrow or something when you are free maybe tonight is a bit late you can call me tomorrow and we can talk about this and then we can see how we can help you find a solution for that okay, okay ma'am thank you so okay. much ma'am you have my number right so you can always call me no problem okay anybody else is anything last uh, thank you madam Yes. Uh, in in taping, we are telling that we believe that what happened, no. But uh, I don't want to believe that. I think that was the problem. I I am telling that I believe it happened, but I don't want. Still, my mind is not believing. Don't want to believe that happened. That's yes, why. because that's one of the things when when the trauma happens we tend to not believe that it existed even yeah, yeah. so we try to say that it didn't happen to us it yeah, didn't yeah. when it you know it it's happened to somebody else so mm-hmm. you need to do that more you need to go into and tell this thing is i i experienced this yes it happened to me you must go and deal with it because the mo- the problem you are having now is you are not dealing with that problem that time and now yeah. also you don't want to deal it so you have to deal with it it is painful it is painful what i suggest that you can do uh, tapping with me uh, yes you can call me and we can do maybe 10 minutes of tapping and then okay. we can see it, it helps if you do it with someone else yeah right? because when you want to do it yourself sometimes it can be very emotional as yeah, well yeah 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 so you can always call me and ask me and then we can do a session together no oh, no thank you jazakallah khair no problem okay anybody else my door is always open so you can always uh, rehana ma'am i have a question yes hello yes. 
इफ वी हैव अच्छा मोदीनाथ वांट्स टू आस्क समथिंग मोदीनाथ यस प्लीज आस्क मोदीनाथ फर्स्ट देन आई विल ओके यस मा अस्सलाम वालेकुम वालेकुम सलाम यस मा अम व्हाट आई वांट टू से अबाउट माय सेल्फ You see, uh, there's there's a proverb in in yeah. Yoruba land, and they usually say it like this: that uh, permit me to say it in Yoruba for those people that will understand it. Now they say, "Imi king king, let's see a word we do. See Ojuba kuro nibe, Okun kuro nibe." That when there is little to uh something that is disgusting on the plate. That you want to use in eating, even if the food is inviting, you will not want to eat it. Like let's say you have a little maggot that you have seen in your food, you know, and somebody is telling you that how is delicious is this is that you. Okay, I have lost her. Modena, we cannot hear you. You're frozen. Hatred against. So anytime you see that. Okay, more than that, we 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 you got cut off in between. We can't hear what you are saying. Did anybody catch the first part of what she said? I couldn't get her her. Okay, she dropped off. Is it? I think she dropped off. Okay, Aisha, tell me quickly. Tell me what you wanted to say. yeah ma'am uh, in an organization if a person is very stubborn stubborn and doing all against the rules and regulations violating everything because some people at the higher level are helping now you are facing that trauma that toxic culture since 2 years for 2 years it has been happening now what is the third process and idea and solution to this okay one of the things also again uh, comes back to you how you are responding to that so if you can find a way something good in that person you can tap on that secondly you can actually if if it's possible you can move away from that person if it's not possible then you have to uh there's another exercise that we do uh, i can teach you that but uh, it's not possible to share with you right now you can again contact me and then i can share with you how you can uh deal with that one of the things you can do is before you go to work uh let's say you know you're going to face this person then you have to along as you're going you're going to play a game and the game is you're going to say isn't it a wonderful day today that i got a seat on the on the every good thing that happens to you along the way or even if nothing good happens to you you're going to find something good and you're going to go with that mindset when you enter the workplace and then you're going to say you know let's say that person's name is uh, uh sally okay so he said sally is going to be so amazing today she's having a great day today and she's talking to me very nicely today isn't it wonderful that she's going to be talking to me nicely you imagine that she has changed you imagine that she's talking to you nicely you imagine that your superiors are you know are treating you very well so you you change that words in your mouth and in your mind and you change that you are going to imagine the best that could happen not the worst because what we do is when we know oh i'm going to face this person at the work oh it's going to be a horrible day oh we start off like that so when you psych your mind to think in that way you're going to be prepared and expecting that bad thing to be there you are expecting it so now we are expecting something good so we are going to say oh sally is so nice today she is having a great day she is talking to me so wonderfully wouldn't it be nice if she talked to me so wonderfully today wouldn't it be nice you're going to play this game say wouldn't it be nice game right this is one of the things you can do i hope it helps if not you can try this tomorrow and then uh, we we can come up with some other ideas i have a, a few other things that you may want to talk to me about and then we can take it offline okay anybody else 
all right so i hope you all had a good session today and a good three sessions before this and i hope you will remember to do all your small exercises your smiling your affirmations your love wheel and you know do do all that and then if you have a problem write it down like your negative do your tapping tapping is the most fastest fastest way i would say to solve a problem that immediate problem yeah Yeah. Uh, shall okay. I share a funny thing? Today I gave a power pose to Sally, and yes. Sally did like this. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, Sally, Sally showed her back to me when she saw my beautiful power pose. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. It happened. It happened. It happened. Okay. Yeah. But, but thank you very much. You know, and I'm. Yeah. I'm told now. She asked us change the words, change the thoughts, change the posture, change the position, change your expression. <laughs> right very good yeah. all right very very good and good and do a lot of grounding uh in the ground you know grounding you should do very often without your shoes in nature it only you can do in nature grounding without your shoes you should do that even 10 minutes at least find some time in a day to do and that will help you with pain also inflammation in your body it will also help you with your mood it will also help you with get in touch with nature because grounding will take away the negative in your in from your body it actually draws it away into the okay. earth yeah. is earth is earth water i mean natural water like sea a uh, mountain or rock sometimes you know you, you have some rocks you can walk on to the yeah. natural rocks okay yes. natural water earth uh, sand all these are good yes Try to spend uh, at least ten minutes in nature every day. Yeah. Thank you very much, Raihana Madam, uh, for your valuable information. On behalf of the Lead House members, I would like to express my thanks and heartfelt gratitude to you for spending this valuable time with us. That will be all for the very informative session for us. i hope you all have learned some valuable information and hope uh, here from you again yes have a good night everyone thank you thank you very good thank ma'am you. thank you so thank much thank you our host dr anara thank you host. <laughs> thank you so much all right dr halima we are done for today are you there ma'am <laughs> Okay, and this time, ma'am is usually in her office in the school. Yeah, she yesterday also, also she was. Day before yesterday also she was. So most probably today so also she is. So I will. And you can stop recording. Yeah. Yes, I will stop.